everyone, Dina here with Just Move Fitness, and here's Tipper. Um, I've gotten a couple of requests from my mamas out there who are either just um, postnatal or um, have a weak pelvic floor from whatever, aging or having babies. So I um, wanted to put a demo out on how to strengthen the pelvic floor with just a couple of exercises. One, starting with a must, breathing, and the next exercise incorporates the breathing, um, and then an exercise um, to help strengthen the pelvic floor. So first is the breathing, that's really important, and then the, the next thing I'm gonna show you is an exercise that incorporates the breathing. So, First thing is to get on a stability ball. If you don't have one, that's okay. You can sit on a chair, but this works really well because it's unstable, so it activates your core muscles a lot better than if you're on a chair. So I have about a 65 centimeter ball. You want it, you want at least 90 degrees in the hips and your knees bent about 90 degrees and sitting up nice and tall. So the first thing is just addressing and becoming aware of your breath into the belly and the ribs so that you can activate and become more aware of the muscles of the pelvic floor, which are deep and really internal, so it's, they're harder to activate. So just sitting up nice and tall, gonna take your hands on the um, sides of the ribs, uh, just below your sternum, and first, just take a deep breath, expand, and then exhale, release. So you can feel the rise and fall of the breath onto your hands. So then I want you to imagine a jelly bean at the base of your pelvic floor. So you're gonna take a deep breath into the hands, into the ribs, and then the exhale, you're gonna squeeze that jelly bean at the pelvic floor. So we'll try that a couple of times. Inhale and exhale, squeeze the jelly bean. So you really feel this breath work coming in and the exhale working to engage the floor of the core, okay? So we'll try that one more time. Breathe in, expand and exhale release and squeeze at the base of the pelvic floor where that imaginary bean is. He's licking. <laughs> Stop your licking and jingling. Okay, so I would perform about eight to 10 repetitions of the breathing exercises first before you even do a core exercise. Okay, so now what we're gonna do after the breathing exercise is uh, grab, you're gonna bring yourself to the floor. Sorry about that, just getting it all set up. So now what you're gonna do is scoot. <laughs> um, if you have a dog, they happen to really love yoga mats. <laughs> so I'm just gonna have to work around him. So you're gonna use either a Pilates ball, it's squishy, it's really light, or you can use a yoga block but this works a lot better because you can squeeze it a lot easier and you really work the muscles of the inner leg in addition to your core. So you're gonna lie face up, taking a ball just between the inner knees, palms and arms just a few inches away from the body. Hello. <laughs> and feet hip width apart. So again, just addressing that breath work. So taking a deep breath in, and exhale, squeeze the bean at the pelvic floor. And as you're squeezing, you're also contracting, right? So you're just like contracting those lower floor of the core muscles, breathing in all the way into the upper ribs. So now we're gonna add a bridge with the breath work. So taking a deep breath into the ribs. On the exhale, lift the hips to about the level of the lower ribs. You don't want to go too high. 
and then slowly lower all the way down. The whole time I'm squeezing the ball, okay, because that activates the inner thigh, which is part of our core. So we'll breathe in to the upper ribs, expanding, and then the exhale, lifting and squeezing that imaginary bean at the floor of the core. So I'm feeling my inner thighs, my hamstrings, my glutes, but also squeezing at the floor of the core so I can really get those pelvic floor muscles to contract and then slowly lower. I'll try this one one more time. It's a little bit more integrated. So breathe in, exhale, lengthening, contracting, and contracting. So the backside of the body is contracting, you're breathing, squeezing that imaginary bean at the floor of the core, and then lowering. So that's it. The first couple of exercises to try just to engage and become aware of your pelvic floor muscles. Um, moving forward, we can add some more um, intricate exercises for the pelvic floor muscles, but try that and give it about um, eight to 10 repetitions on the breathing exercise on a ball. And then for the bridges, you can try about 15 of those and just making sure that you're incorporating the breath work. Hope that helps. And let me know if you would like to see any more demonstrations on core exercises, um, specifically pelvic floor or all the core. And you can um, connect with me at dina at justmovefitness.com.